That's not a ball, it's a cock. I don't want to hear this cock and bull story. An hour and 40, good lord. What are we watching? Whoa, an hour 40? I know. Holy shit, did you notice that? I mean, I, I said it. What is it, episode seven? Episode yep. seven. The last of part one. Well, good, I'll be able to talk to Melanie about it then. She I'll watched the last talk one, so she Carmen didn't talk to me as well, it. yeah. I wrote Fish Attack Dead. I don't know what that means. And the tentacle the came up tentacle and got the fish. attacked the fish, and it was dead. That's it. Also, bats Solid. are eating Steve. What are you doing? Hey guys, Girl Boy and Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're here to watch chapter 7 of season 4 of Stranger Things. It's mm -hmm. an hour and 40 minutes long. Mm -hmm. We're going to do our absolute best. I should have peed. To get this reaction highlight as good as possible, but... Well, just to let you know, we do offer full length at patreon.com slash blindwave where you can watch the entire episode along with us. But we always strive to make sure the best stuff is in this reaction highlight coming up. Guys, last time on Stranger Things. Bats! Bugs! Fish. Battlestar Galactica. Oh, wow. We're the other, other three. Save this man. Aha! Or, or not. What does she have in her head? No. No, I think it's just a flashlight, but it looked like a magic thing. Yeah, it looked like it was on fire. Well, Eddie definitely believes this now. Oh, oh. shit! Oh, oh, his arm oh. broke! You're not getting away. Spin him around! Yeah! 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 This is a fucking D&D &D adventure right here, Eddie. Could you imagine being like a D&D &D guy and this shit happening? What the Look fuck? Look at him! Bare foot! Bare foot! He ripped it in half! Fatality. <laughs> that was metal. It was metal. No, bow down before the oh. master. Is that the hole? Oh, they're, they're guarding. They're guarding the hole. Uh -oh. There's mama. So no, it's just there's a lot many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. I just said there's a lot many. There's a lot many. <laughs> Dang it. There's not. I can't talk when it's bats. There's not too few. When I was in the one day. <laughs> They're not small! <laughs> They're, big. They're not small. <laughs> it was about the bats. Yeah, right? I know! <laughs> <laughs> These bats fuck up your talking. I know! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They're big bats. They're not small. <laughs> there's a lot many of them. I was trying to say there's a lot more and there's so many at the same time. There's quite a couple. There's quite a several. <laughs> there's quite an Appalachian couple. Huh? You ever heard of like Appalachian couple? It's like people in the Appalachia area, when they say couple, really doesn't mean like two. I mean, an Appalachian couple could be 12. Oh. Now, there's a couple backpacks there. Couple. You go and there's like 10 backpacks. Like, what? Do you refer to it as an Appalachian couple? Huh. Like a baker's dozen? Kind of, but that has some ruling for bakers. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. That's a fixed value. Yeah, 13. <laughs> a, an Appalachian couple could be anywhere from two to more. <laughs> two to 99. <laughs> two to less than 12. At some point, it becomes a heap. Then you would just say a dozen. Oh. Oh. Perhaps you need more time to think. <clears throat> Dude, you've already like vegetable this guy. He's so tired. Promise me you won't kill him. This place is not a prison. I just keep thinking about how I tried to escape and you kept me here like a prison. Yeah, it tranquilized me. <laughs> that guy is saying, like, yeah, we just made a scared, traumatized little girl. Dr. Brennan is just thinking, she's not traumatized enough. <laughs> Let's go deeper. It's not even my final form. Oh, no, damn it! Don't do that, Calvin. I had it perfectly blocking the arm. <laughs> it cut away. <laughs> I'm like, I saw them preparing the arms. <laughs> You're like, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to get me? Uh, this is like my mom's pirated movie collection. You yeah, like a pantry for it? We have a cabinet. Cabinet? A giant one. We're gonna watch the events unfold. The Cam, one. RR1. Oh, he's is that the player for Oh, man. Was she with you at this night swim? No. Yeah. Uh, hmm. We're not sure. <laughs> We're not sure. You realize they're lying. The whole couch is on fire. Let <laughs> them with a little jail time. Maybe that will be one. Thank you. I'm not even in the hope 
Fire Club. Do I need to cuff you? Oh, dude. Skull Rock. Upside down Skull Rock. If they find you, there's nothing that you could do. Uh, did Rabies. Did you lose a lot of blood? Rabies. Or he's gonna turn into a bat. Dude, Batman. Maybe this is what happened to Vecna. Ah, the squishy sound. The squelching is the worst, yeah. Squelch. You know how many clothes you would have to lose to be able to do that to me? Yeah. <laughs> We'd have to tie our shirts. Oh, <laughs> fucking shirt? Yeah. It's all three of our shirts tied together. <laughs> oh! What happened? What is that noise? They're merging. Yeah, so guns seem like a pretty good idea to me. Yeah, me too. Or, you know, just go back to the hole and jump in. It's guarded, right? Uh-huh. It was, but they were all flying, right? I don't know. I wonder what the ratio of, like, time. What's the time? Like, if I put a gun in my bedroom today, is the gun there in the upside down? I see. I thought you meant, like, how quickly does time pass inside of... No, I think yeah. it's a one for one, I think. But like if the I idea so, is like, like Will was in there for everything's reversed but without months, stuff. Maybe. Yeah, like Will's had this castle, you know, and that was kind of newer, but how new? Like in the upside down, is there alcohol here hall in this cell because of him? But no him. They will shoot us on sight. We die as monster slayers. <laughs> you forgot traitor. Monster slayer trumps traitor. You betrayed your country to slay monsters. We need a miracle. Is this a miracle? Uh huh. Murray, Murray <laughs> the miracle worker. <laughs> All right, I want to see him be Russian. Что тут вам нужно, товарищ? Меня запутили из Бейлов. That's a pretty good impression. I miss his beard, but the mustache is great. <laughs> it looks like Murray. It really does. <laughs> I believe it. There's a recessed button, so you can't do that. <laughs> the plan comes together. Cool shot. Yeah, right. I like the shadows on the gates. Yeah. Nina and the military is gonna be on their way, right? Yeah. yeah. Unless he lied. Oh, that. Is a shock collar. Looks scary. Oh. It's like the Kolvash collar. Yeah. No one knows who that is. <laughs> I mean, that was a real Aussie movie. <laughs> Black Sabbath. Come on. Anderson said that. Oh yeah. Shit. Kid worships you, dude. Like. Yeah. No. I Watch out for vines. Right? Why is it so rumbly here? Either you tell me what's happening, or I tell Dustin what I found under your bed. What? Spill your guts, cow puncher. What? I don't tell anyone about this. That's including mom and dad and Tina. I smother you in your sleep. <laughs> what is the answer? You sure you just want water? Yeah. Damn it! Please be kind. Rewind. Uh oh. Why are the lights flickering? It's targeting someone else. Um, is it coming from Max again? Oh, because they're coming inside. That makes sense. Because okay. they're on the other side, moving yeah. through. Mm -hmm. I thought someone was gonna die in the house. What did the cops do then? I forgot she still lived at home. Everyone lives at home, right? Might be time to get away. Your parents. Oh. Homeless people don't. I don't want to stay here longer than we have to. Can he see them or just hear them or what? Definitely. Maybe the psychic connection between friends can go between time and space too. Or because it got bit by the bats. It's in his blood. Mm. I'm saying these season one when they were yeah. there. Look at the babies. This is old wallpaper. And this finger is It's like it solidified when Will Byers went through. Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe it doesn't progress. Hello! Hello! 
He looks crazy. Anderson, that little shit. That little shit. <laughs> Dustin, Dustin. No, you can hear him because of your powerful psychic connection. I hear him too. How Think. and Maybe. why is there a gate at Lover's Loop? Dustin. What are you looking at? Will found a way. What? Will. Mm -hmm. The lights. Huh. I got overloaded. Anyone know Morse code? Wait, does SOS count? Yeah. Remember when I said they wouldn't be stupid enough to go through Watergate? Yeah. I think they were stupid enough to go through Watergate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Door opens right then. Did you pick up the gun? No. He cut himself shaving his head. Maybe. I thought he hit in the plane. Yeah. Ты не тот Юрий, о котором я слыхал. You're much funnier. У тебя большая нехватка. Sick <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to watch a gladiator match? <laughs> they just keep hitting them until it's great. Yeah. I think it's just all blur from Murray because he doesn't have any glasses. Probably. You have to wait till the buzzer to move? Yep. Mm -hmm. If you move before the buzzer, you get shot. By one that means it opens it too, or? Probably. We have some fodder. Some people yeah. I don't know down there. Number three, number three, number three, number three. Five. Damn. Are they all mad because of what happened to two? I think she ratted. They think so, yeah, I think. Even though two was just dumb. I mean, they're all tortured, abused children. I sure. can't be too mad at any of them. Set. Light oh my gosh, a light bright. Just what we need for lights. I haven't seen one of those for 20 years. <laughs> for your understanding? <laughs> Bribe? For your understanding? <laughs> what can I do? Make some type of cipher. But is this thing in 1983? Yeah, no. Okay, you guys seeing this? And the light is, okay. Interesting. Now they can draw. Stand by! Get it! Okay, so now they can maybe activate it still? Okay, try it now! So now they should be able to do the individual pixels, right? I think. Hi! Hi! Hey. Hi! That works! <laughs> yes! Yes! Hi! <laughs> if you grab it, you shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Dead, yeah. Guard dead. There's a gate at every murder site. So there's one at Eddie's place. Right on the money before you guys just trust me. Jesus Christ, this kid's got to get his ego on check. It's his tone, right? <laughs> okay, haven't you always had bikes? Yes, but the vines. Get some bikes. I went to the back of the studio the other day and... Jake was listening to this song. I'm like, you've been watching Stranger Things, huh? He's like, yes. Uh huh. <laughs> so what Rick was saying, it charted again because of this. Yeah. She's like, kind of mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little pigs. Oh, little pigs. Are they gone? Let Officer Callahan. Why are you so creepy? Why is he so. You're the pig. So fucking creepy. Uh -huh. He's the big bad wolf, I guess. Why is he the big bad wolf? That's what he was playing. I don't know. Why, Why does he think that's a good idea? Damn it, Rick. What have you done? <laughs> now Eric is going with him, too. Oh, oh, yeah. it's a that's a felony. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Didn't they follow and get involved in the, the plot of it all? The parents? Yeah. They're not running after him. Like, if they went through and they saw a gate open up and then get They're out of breath. They went 10 feet. They got cars, Rick. They only popped one tire. This helicopter. Try drone. 
Damn. Upside down. What a transition. It's not over again. Oh, oh, oh. It's so great. I like that. So, did they get a drone to fly upside down, or did they grab it when they were filming? They probably just articulated the camera oh. upside down. Oh, the bats. Oh, man, they have so many teeth like a Demogorgon. Oh, we need you. Hurry. So, it was self-defense? Mm-hmm. So, we just killed all those kids? It was a... Uh, Strike back. Counter strike. <laughs> At least that's what the kid manipulating her said. He's not really a kid. Yeah. He's not an old man. A man. If an old man looked at him and said kid, I would know who he was talking about. <laughs> it's all relative. Except under the law. Is that an old man too? That's an old man. This is when he takes number ten. Oh, magic ball. This is the moment. Yeah. Man, that's what we should do. We just need to all have magic eight balls, and that's we don't know. Just, all right, that's what we're doing. Make meetings much faster. <laughs> and chaotic. <laughs> and Bong was making some weird decisions. The magic eight ball has decided we exclusively react to K-pop now. He was Freddy Krueger all along. Could be. I don't know who Vecna is. I'm between him and one. I don't know who else it could be. It could be the same person. <laughs> This will lead you out beyond the lab fence to the woods. You are too big. <laughs> what if I make it go away? That's what he wants. Does she do that and he's well, what killed everything? Yeah, like she unlocks his power. Like, what yeah. do you mean by it weakens me and he tracks me? Weakens what? This. Like, what did you do turns into like... She just released him. Now that she killed everybody. Yeah. So much is happening. There's the buzzer. Okay. Get the, the armory. How long to the door? What weapons do they have in there? Wiffle bow. Wiffle ball bow. It was like a mace or a morning star or something. Okay. Get the longest thing. Spear. Yes. Yes. Fire spear. Yes. How do you feel about fire spears, Rick? Be okay. So Dude, he's gonna jump out like rawr, and kill someone like immediately. Yeah, it's too bad. He is gonna back up though. immediately. Well, wow, so we've seen one of these, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, don't miss it all. He did. I would have maybe mung up cocktailed it. You can find out. You, what are you doing? Capitalism! We didn't start the fire. What you got? What are you doing, Murray? Hello, Mr. Warden. What's that? You can light it with the spark. The Americans are very tricky. <laughs> oh, come on. Just push up against it and spark it. Should be enough. Come on. I don't understand the problem. It's cold in Russia. Guys, go uh, walls with something. Flank it. So fast. Oh, I jumped over him. This is one that's been trained. Jesus. We're swiftly Jeez. running out of extras. Get that thing lit. Stab the light and light it on fire. I don't know. Watch me now, Vid. Tak davai. Throw him in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what he's going to do. <laughs> I can't believe the flame. He would have ruined that flame. Oh, jeez. You got to get it before. Yeah. It burns out. You don't have that much alcohol. Jesus! Just these two left? I guess very intense. He is. He's pistol whipping the whole room! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, that guy's still alive? No! Remember when Steve beat this thing with a bat? This thing is so well trained or desperate. Oh. Been fighting all oh, his fire looks a little dwindly. Yeah, just <laughs> Oh shit. This is also a missile silo. <laughs> Think there's an exit through there though? Ten more demogorgons. There's more victims. Push it and close it back up. Close it back up. Just in time. Oh 
no! Stab his fingers! Fucking stab him! There you go. I'm not gonna be happy now. Damn, man. The blade was at least hot. Murder, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, she came for your buddy. Joyce Byers. American spy. <laughs> Man, do you believe what they pulled off? That was a miracle. It's not over yet. All right. There's still lots of arms. They're in Russia. <laughs> Just to get in this far. <laughs> <laughs> the timing? It's perfect timing. Where did we get that guard's name? Jack and Hagar. Anton? What? No. I mean, that's who he is. <laughs> Enzo. Enzo. Oh, is he Enzo? That's what he went by. I think his name's Anton. Oh, there's the house. Must go faster. Could be Anton Enzo. We're here. Hopefully the uncle's house has been here the whole time. It's a trailer. It's a trailer yeah, park. Yeah, exactly. It's movable, Calvin. That's what I'm no, saying. it's a trailer park. Trailers don't exist before they're in parks. You just crawl from the ground. Like daisies. That's a lot of vines. Seems like a red glow. I think there's something in there. Yeah. The other side, go, hurry. Oh. Okay. So the bats are being born. Oh, is it dusting in them? Nice. They figure it out too, baby. Diving in the hole. Come on, guys. We brought a rope. But they're going up? Yeah, they just drop down. It's like portal. I don't know how it works. They might have a ladder. They have to get a ladder, then these drop down. Well, this is even more confusing because it's the ceiling. Yes, they're, they're both standing on the floor. Into the upside down. Great. <laughs> Get through, hurry! Right? But you didn't want to come here to take out Vecna. Yeah, this is where they kill Vecna. It's like you are here. He's got to throw guns up at the wall. There you go. You can't hurt me more than they already have. This kid's like Palpatine. <sighs> uh, I don't want to see him stretching out. Just... <sighs> Give me a glass or something. You knew something so small could cause so much trouble. Oh, getting bored of your vibes. Yeah. I'm getting bad vibes for a long time. Take him. Kill him. Yep. Yeah. Fucking Darth Vader Rogue One. I'm gonna shut the thing up your ass. Oh, okay. Come. His nose isn't even bleeding. Nope. I wait here. Because he's gonna go kill everybody. Yeah. He's so cool. I know. If, if you got if you got the balance right, you could literally have something hang there on itself. Can you climb up it then? Well, that's uh. They're gonna lift them. Theoretically, they can hold on. <laughs> Gravity's pulling on it both ways. Kind of thing, that's cool. Yeah, but they would just be lifting. This doesn't make sense. It's upside down, Calvin. How would this really work in physics, okay? But how would they be able to pass through the portal then if it's like quantum locked or whatever? Because it's through both at the same time. At a certain point, he threw it through. Like it would just be as if they were pulling it down oh, that's from awesome. the other direction. Just enjoy it. We all know it's fake. Yeah, they're pulling it down from both directions. <laughs> but they're not. It is. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Bats! Oh, I would have Steve. had the injured guy go first. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. What? She just fell in the middle. Did Vecna like grab her? The pool! Yeah, it's a swimming pool. Oh no! That's She's good. Cur She's cursed. Isn't that where Barb died? It's yeah, every song. It's, it's the source of her guilt. Anyone know? Huh? No! Because they didn't sit around uh, in a circle and tell everybody. Uh, Start singing everything. Wake me up before you go, go. And just start singing. Yeah. Talk about Ozzy, start with some Black Sabbath. <laughs> you don't want to escape, you just wants to kill all. Mm -hmm. Does the time and age work out? Like, could he be Henry as well? That's what I'm thinking. He didn't finish the job with Brenner. Dude, that looked so much more like what Vecna does, too. Yeah. We don't see any of their faces. As far as like eyes and stuff. Yeah. So two gave him a struggle. Gotta wake her up. 
Is she at the house? Yeah. It's interesting that she like got brought to the upside down, but from the upside down, like she's not in, I don't know. You know what I mean? This is the sideways, right? Yeah, it's like a different like dreamy mind. How was old blind dumb Victor? Did he miss me? Door to the house. He didn't call him dad. This is nice. Yeah. Our new home provided a discovery. Little spiders. Most people fear spiders. Mm. And I did not yet know my limits. And it nearly killed me. Goes into the coma. Blame for the death of my sister and mother, just as I had planned. But I was far from. Huh? Free. But it was like he escaped. Though. I woke up. The very doctor I had hoped to escape, Doctor Martin Brenner. Papa, join me. Together we can. <laughs> Sends him through the glass, right? That's why we need her. She's the only one who stopped him in the past. Yeah. This actor is great. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, she's so much smaller than this right now, too. Yeah. We're gonna have a little circle game. Do you maybe have a memory like that? You taught her how to beat you. Huh. But what happened? That's not what happened. Brenner must have saved you. But he, he walked in and everything was done. And what have you done? Maybe... Oh. Maybe that's the kind of memory you need. Light versus dark. <laughs> Superhero landing. <laughs> and that's the first gate? Maybe. Jesus. I think what she did to Demogorgon, kind of, right? Right? Yeah. That turned him into Vecna? Yeah. I mean, that's what he's telling Nancy, right? I mean, there's a mixture right now between yeah. her memories and... But yeah, I think this is the first gate. The hell of a thing to fall into. Uh -huh. It's like it's formless. So much bigger. He was number one. Well, damn. Shit. Is that the last one? Do we have for now? Yeah. For now. For a long time. Now, do we have like two more coming? Yeah. Soonish. It's crazy. I kind of feel like we had a bunch of different theories and they were all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Are we One's too Henry good at watching TV? TV? <laughs> it, was it was fun. It was still really sad. No, yeah, it was good. What were you saying, Rick? So, well, it was Henry. Yeah. Henry was number one, and yeah. he was number one. And sure. It all kind of worked. Yeah. Like, last, I think it was last time, because I was talking to Melanie about it a little bit, too, because she had been watching along with it and whatnot, and I was like, all right, so my thoughts were this, 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 and then Calvin tossed in this, and now I think our running theory is that Henry did it, and like maybe somehow he became number one or created number one. The main thing for me was like I wasn't sure how the timeline worked exactly. If how been old a, Henry would be? Yeah. yeah if there was enough years 11. and everything for how it worked out yeah. or not, I wasn't sure on that. But yeah, I, that was the only thing that was making me like, no, there's something separate happening because I don't know if that timeline works. But I don't know how old, like Robert, how old was Robert, Robert England's character and all that stuff is. So. Yeah, because you got like thirty years in between the two uh -huh. events, right? At least until 83. Dude, number one's actor was so good. Like, I kept watching him. I know I shouldn't, but I kept thinking, like, they're going to do a young Palpatine series, and this is the guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's how good he was. There was a couple moments that made me think of uh, Harry from the Spider-Man trilogy. What, James Franco? Okay. Yeah. There was a couple moments when, like, he had some line yeah. deliveries and stuff, and it was, like, the side profile. Sure. Like, I was picturing All right. Franco a little bit, but... I can I, see it. I really liked even the anger in his face whenever he was like, like when like Eleven asked a question. I'm trying to think what exactly it was, but it was just like, like his face just changed so much. I'm like, mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly. I yeah, it's like his eyebrows doing. like grew out in anger. Yeah, like when we first saw him as the orderly or whatever he was introduced as, like there's just something about 
the actor where you're like, okay, he's something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they never gave him a name. Like, it was always just you get a, orderly. You got a feeling of like being him being a little creepy, especially the way yeah. he's introduced, right? With like the kind of way that Eleven is going over in her memory because she can't remember this, right? So it's just looping. Uh, the record is stuck on that spot, but so he's he's introduced with an unnaturalness. I'm not saying the guy is himself unnatural, but he you know, has like a flavor. You don't get someone this good, yeah. Not have them be an important part of yeah the story. I love his performance. Yeah. I wish like his origin story was a little more mm-hmm. or like less. Like he just is a cliched. he's just a he's a super powered child. Yeah. We don't know why, just that he is. And and he also happens to be yeah. a psychopath. He, he, a, a budding serial killer. Yeah. Uh, extremely powerful. So Brenner is brought in to study him and then to try to recreate that power. Yeah. Though the, well, the children already have a certain power. He's just trying to learn how to amplify it, I suppose. He is, is, is trying to learn how to control it, and yeah. harness it, and use it. And they said, like, the guards, the nurses, they're all prisoners, too. I wonder if they're all failed experiments that got too old. Maybe, maybe you age out. I don't, I don't think they're failed experiments. I think they're just... Well, there's this, only this project sure. is so secret yeah. that you can't have a life outside yeah. this, you know? He Brenner is all about control, so... Yeah. Like, he would have them stay there and... Scientifically... Trying like going through the scientific method and trying to create controls and variables for your experiments, I feel like it'd be a huge mistake to keep number one inside that ecosystem. Sure, yeah, but, but he also he had him controlled. Also, I think Brenner has one of those things where yeah, I want to make sure I know where he is because mm-hmm. of how dangerous he is. Like I want to know what he did in the future. That Brenner was like, we have to put this thing inside of him, limit his powers. And then also keep an eye on him because he's so dangerous. Yeah. You know, like what did he do more so than killing his mom and sister that in the future made them do that, you know? Yeah. I can't believe 001 didn't kill Brenner. Yeah. I would have been damn sure. Yeah. Wasn't there like a... I don't... Damn, I'm trying to remember in the first episode what happened that we saw. I thought it was like an explosion, the door flew off and it's what knocked him out or something. As opposed to, like, it wasn't like he walked in and, like, did something. No, yeah, him. yeah. But in the chaos of everything, too, like, whatever happened to him that knocked him out, he may have been going through fighting off security guards and all the kids who maybe are trying to use their powers, too, against him. Right. So it was more, like, pressing priorities rather than the knocked-out doctor at the time. And it's like, we'll circle back to him. And he and might he, not he have... just never did that. Especially had much animosity against Brenner, other than the fact that he put... Uh, chip in his head that kept him from being able to use his powers. Well, he stopped him from fulfilling his destiny, right? He saw himself as the balancer of the universe, like Brenner is the one thing that stopped him from doing that. That's why he ended up turning on his parents, was because they were going to send him to a doctor and he didn't want to do that, so he killed him. He still ended up with a doctor. And it must have worked like we talked about, too, because we said that, well, in a week he died. He never woke from his coma. But if they did like what Will Byers did, which was what Brenner did, was put in a fake body and then, well, he it, it died. Yeah. The dad wouldn't have been able to see it anyway. Sure, yeah. He was in prison, so he wasn't looking for him. Yeah. And everyone else is just like, this is a tragic incident, but no one else is going to be going looking for that kid. The only reason we found for Will is because the mom and Hopper and them were, she was adamant on finding that if it was Will or not, and then Hopper like... The way, I mean, Dustin's guesses tend to be pretty on the money, but he has like Vecna under the Mind Flare, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, he's one of the Mind Flare's generals. That's that's what he's supposed yeah, Sure. I'm just curious, like he gets thrown, and it didn't even seem like the Upside Down in a way. It sure. seemed almost like it was formless it, lava. It was, well, it was the dimension where the house is. It's like, yeah, right? it's like it's what like I was like talking about with that, red. right? Sure. Because it looks like there's like some... Yeah. Geography on top and geography on the bottom, and there's lightning in between, and somehow he is occupying that space. We've seen people in the normal world be taken to that area, and then we've seen people now, Nancy, like in the Upside Down, also being taken to that area. Sure. I guess I'm just curious, like... Sure, yeah, I don't know what exactly it is, but I I get what you mean. Like, when she opened the gate, was there an Upside Down? Or is Vecna, did he, like, create what exists somehow? Or did he end up getting... 
tossed in and then know. controlled by some other entity. There's a lot of weird questions like why does the upside down stay in 1983 when Will Byers came in? Like it has it's not updated. They're saying like it's we're like back in time, but they're also communicating in the present. Oh yeah, so, like was it stuck in time when zero zero one went in? Yeah, and then it updated when Will came in. I don't know. But see if if one went in and it wasn't the upside down. Like, if it is some other sure. thing, then the will stuff doesn't actually happen until yeah. that breach or whatever happens, yeah. right? Because, like... Whenever they reopen the portal. Like, it doesn't update when Steve comes in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. But, like, we already had the Upside Down opened. Like, maybe the Upside Down hasn't been opened and what he went into isn't the Upside Down. Like, I don't know for sure if this gateway is the same gateway that we had before. Or is it, like something different that leads into some other place. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know. Because, like, we talk about how it looks more red, right? It's more of that red lightning kind of looking stuff going on where it almost feels, like, separate than Vecna. But mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Like, if they would have went to the upside-down house that they were in, would Vecna have been there and that's where he's getting attached to? Or does he live in, like, a different mind realmy place? I mean, we've... They're in the upside down with the bats. We've seen it go to his house with the bats, and he's inside of it, right? Yeah. So he's in the upside down at his attic. But that's a house, and like when he's in the place that's all broken. Yeah, it's also his house. That's in a different place. But that's different. I think that's the in between. It feels like it's different. Yeah. Like it's either a mindscape or yeah, no, like it, another dimension or something. Don't get me wrong, I love this. I love when it shows like ask you answer some questions, but then there's a lot more. Well, it's like more you think about it, you're like, man, but how does this yeah. work with this and this and this? And yeah. what does that mean? And I don't necessarily even want it to be completely uh, answered as long as like the, the characters and their motivations and they're consistent and stuff. Sure. Know? Like Nancy is currently learning this stuff. Yeah. At the same time, Elle is remembering a conversation she had. She's remembering the right? situation that occurred. Yeah. yeah. I do like having one, the orderly, doing, like, all this stuff. Like, as it went through again, because, you know, I haven't seen it since the first time that it really showed it, and they've had little clips here and there, but yeah. having Eleven walk through it again, like, seeing the bodies and stuff, and, like, those look very similar to, like, what Vecna has been doing to stuff. And then I was yeah. like, but they haven't shown the eyes, have they? And then when they opened the door, the one kid behind the door, mm-hmm. his eyes looked weird, too. And then even having one, when he was attacking two, he, he was, like, doing this kind of thing. Yeah. As he was attacking him, which is very much what like Vecna does when he puts Giant his hand him. on top of like their head and like mm-hmm. sucks out their eyes. Why does, does Vecna take out the eyes? I don't know. Like we know that that's a common thing, and it's how we found the old murders. But why does that kid do that? Mm-hmm. What was his name again? Henry. 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 I mean, one Vecna. Vecna in D and D has a thing about eyes. Does he? So I don't know if just a connection if that's the connection I mean it could just be like he's a killer and that's what he likes to do <laughs> sure you like know? I understand yeah. like he also like breaks and breaks all their bones yeah. and, and maybe the eyes bursting is just a side effect like um, when a spy, when a black widow bites you does anything special happen to your eyes no I don't know but they can like I mean, don't you, they like kill their, the male counterpart and like like suck them dry kind of thing there's sure. a certain spider or they just eat him am I right about this there's a certain spider that if it bites you you get like a life ending erection. What? I take advantage of that. I think they have. I think that's I think that medical science has. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that? that's, that's how they get about that. like Viagra. It's a Viagra spider. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a little blue spider. <laughs> now I was just thinking like that happens. Like I'm gonna sure, die. Yeah, I don't know. I was just trying to think like, like is there anything in his in his like, why would he specifically what was this, go for the eyes? the story when he's looking at the clock and all that? Like, what were the things he said? I mean, the clock is a representation of order. Like, you know, we like to pretend that we have a control over time. Because, look, we can measure it. Though, you know, a lot of, like, astrophysicists will say, like, we have no idea what time is. And you, you trying to do that is putting some type of artificial collar around the world. So I guess he's using that as, like, a personification of human society <laughs> and how we've tricked ourselves into thinking that we are natural when the stuff that we do is unnatural? Or maybe, maybe that, that we feign control when actually things just happen around mm-hmm. us and we take credit for it. I just wondered if he had, like, a meaning with the eyes, too, of, like... He had that he had that part in his speech where he's talking about, like, you know, you just... You, you work and die, reproduce. Like, yeah. you, you just have that thing. Like, we don't really drift much further than the guy before us and really we just make yeah. it worse and I wonder if it's like a line of like what you're seeing to the future and different things If it, I don't know if it has any more meaning 
at all. Or if it's just like, mm-hmm. eh, well, when I do this, your eyes get sucked in. And he's also yeah. insane. Yeah. So it might, <laughs> might just be a coincidence. And he's a swamp thing now. <laughs> but dude, I really think that what Eleven did there was like the same thing she did to Demogorgon, right? Like in the season one, at the end of that, when her and school, him yeah. both just vanished. It felt like that big, like, ah, yeah. but he powdered him. <laughs> it goes crazy. Yeah. It's like she was holding his body behind, like, a jet engine with the afterburner on and he was just being burned and like obliterated it's terrible what happened this episode with Hopper and hey, we haven't talked about Russia yeah no, not yet yeah Yuri yeah I mean Murray dude Murray like, did a great Yuri pistol whipped that whole crew yeah he did. they were completely uh, trained, soldiers. Yeah, trained Russian soldiers and, I want, and he ends by going like huh that's great <laughs> pistachio Murray and we, I don't know if we killed the Demogorgon, but we at least escaped him. Stabbed it in the throat. Now it's free in Russia. Yeah. I don't know, it's still trapped in that little area, but it might be able to jump up. I was going to say, it can climb the, the fence now because they de-electrified it. But yeah. It's like Probably one of the really sound good. cues when when yeah. she was pushing all the buttons. Ooh. All the and the crap went stopped. Tractor beam got shut down. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if we'll like see them escape Russia, or do we just like... They're back in America next time we see them. I get what you mean. I feel like we need to escape it because it's still having the Demogorgon there. Yeah. I, it was I interesting. think they need to finish that off. It was interesting Hopper having his discussion about, like, I thought I just came here to, like, you know, be punished for the things I've done. But this still being alive means that Eleven could still be in trouble. And I have to it means help. this isn't over. Like, maybe there's a yeah. reason I've been sent here is to stop this thing. So I wonder if there's going to be something with that. And if that, if, if that Demogorgon itself is important at all to what's going with, like, Vecna and stuff. Like, if he can somehow kill that Demogorgon, can he make a portal to go in and fight Vecna or something? Mm. Also, this Demogorgon easily could be the exact same Demogorgon we had before if, like, what Eleven did didn't kill it and somehow sent it back to, like, the Upside Down or something, like what happened to Vecna, or somehow sent it to Russia. You know, I don't know. But, like, we haven't seen multiple Demogorgons. We've seen Demodogs. Yeah. Which we've been like, well, I guess those grow up to be... Demogorgons? I don't really know. But if the idea is that there's only been one Demogorgon and it, you know, attacked Steve and Steve fought it with a baseball bat and, like, as it's been going, it's been learning more and more. So it's better at fighting each time as it goes on, you know? As opposed to, like, Deer and Barb and Will. And then it moves on to, like, Steve and Hopper and Russian soldiers. (laughs) Russian prisoners with weapons. I don't know. I just wonder because we haven't had more than you figured there'd be more Demogorgons running around sure. instead of like other creatures like the bats and stuff well they called it like a foot soldier right usually there's a lot of foot soldiers you, would, mm-hmm. yeah. you have you know a couple five star generals yeah. and then you have one mind flare like if the Demodogs all turn into Demogorgons like those all all of those like we had in what season two I think it was we had like I don't know like five of those or something at least running around in a pack I just wonder if we'll get either more Demogorgons or if like this is the same one I'm trying to think, like, Henry told Eleven about utilizing memories to become strong, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he also tortures his victims with memories that make them weak. Well, it's the, I think it's the strong psychic connection. The strong psychic connection. So he's, yeah. he's having them relive something that he just is a bad to, memory for them and he using needs to that, turn a light on to yeah. manipulate it like we do we have a light we can manipulate it and do messages but he needs to have your brain fire I guess maybe well, he's so also, that he can link to yeah. it and he, create the portal he's disgusted by humanity because yeah. they lie mm-hmm. and they yeah. cover things up like a spider yeah. doesn't do that sure right but I, Vecna said like to Nancy like I've never forgotten someone I've killed like you've forgotten about Barb at this point sure I, don't know, I keep coming back to him. I, I have so many questions that I have to wait to get. Yeah. Well, it also seemed like Jane, like Eleven, like she was attacking him with all the thoughts of my mother being taken away and, you know, the deaths of everybody and, like, these, like, bad memories. But then, like, she was losing until she had this memory of, like, being born and, like, seeing her mom for the first time and being named Jane. Yeah. yeah. So That was a weird moment for me. I the, don't really know what to get from it. I mean, the ideas I think of what he says makes you strong is the sad and angry memories yeah. are like that's not what makes you powerful it's you know Mike and the crew and all the friends and stuff that she's made like that's what she fights for and that's what gives her strength I think mm-hmm. but she doesn't have those yet in that moment 
she just has a memory of her mom that she yeah. jumped to, yeah. where her mom calls her Jane and stuff and gives her gives her love as opposed to everything else she's had. I, so I think there's like a growth element of like you can be stronger when you're embracing friendship and love and that stuff. Mm. And that's why in the reaction, I was like light side versus dark side kind of feeling of like the good versus the bad, and that's what gives you power. I think it makes a lot of sense too because he's a psychopath. Like he can't really feel happy or or joy or anything like that. Like he can feel some satisfaction, but mostly he just feels rage. And the memories that he's focusing on makes him feel that more. Mm-hmm. Whereas someone like what Aaron was saying, someone could get a more powerful memory, but he can't feel those emotions. It's just the Peter Band thing. Happy thoughts. Yeah, I think so a little bit. But it's like, how much harder will someone fight? To protect someone they love and care about versus how much, how hard will someone work when they're just angry and rageful, you know? Like, there might be a different element of how far or how, how much effort they'll put in something. Like, can I angrily lift this car up? I'm mad and I throw the car. Yeah. Or, because my kid's under the car, I'm going to save my kid and get this car picked up kind of thing, you know? Like, there's... Why'd you park your car on your kid? It happened once. I do wonder why this episode was so long. It felt like... There were points where I was like, oh, the episode's over. And it felt like a natural break, where normally it just would have been. So I wonder why they chose to make it an extra long one. I just think they just can. Yeah. I think this is a thing that happens to all <laughs> successful stuff. It's just like, well, we're super successful. What are you going to do, edit me? You know, like authors that get on the you know, New York best time over and over and over again. You know, it's how their books get longer and longer and longer. Yeah. And they take less notes, you know. Yeah, sure. I think it's the same thing. I mean, the Walking Dead has done this. Change of Things has done this. It's like, what? What are you gonna do? We don't have. We're not. We're not doing advertisement time. I don't have to have. You know. I'm just gonna let scenes breathe and do what the fuck I want. Change of Things, bitch, and then just throw it out. There. Sure. <laughs> like I, do. I think like having like where it ends there is good for like, especially if there being a break. You're sure. Like, what sure. What does this mean? What What are we yeah. doing next? You know. But like Rick's thought here is more so like, could it have been like. Seven, and then you make an eighth episode. And the eighth episode is the one you break on. Kind I think of you thing. easily could have. I, I think you could have maybe as well, but maybe yeah. there is a reason of like the the way the story is being told. They wanted this to be yeah. in in captured in one episode. It could know? even be what stuff Rather like than it uh, splitting it off into two. Could be stuff like you know actor contracts and stuff. And it's like, well, I'm contracted for this amount of. Yeah, that's what I suspect. Stuff, you know, and there's like, all right, well, we'll just do lines. For the last ones, we'll just do super long ones, and then we're good. We don't have to renegotiate. I mean, sure. I don't know. It's possible there's behind the scenes, yeah. or, or I mean, it's all gonna be behind the scenes. But is it more of like story director yeah. kind of stuff, or artistic like, or business? Sure. Like you can have either one of those. Because like I think some of the both. some of the natural ending moments felt a little further towards the end of the episode rather yeah. than towards the middle. Yeah. So I don't find like a nice part where I'd be like, "This is a good one to kind of cut it in half," and I wouldn't want to toss like the last twenty minutes into the next episode. Yeah. Without knowing what the next after that would be either, you know? So I don't think that little bit would be enough for it on its own. So maybe that's kind of the reason. Or, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Could be artistic, could be. There's so many variables. Contracts, that could be. I almost don't care. As long as, like, I, I mean, I, there was definitely moments where I'm like, is it ending? And then I'm like, no, I know it's an hour 40. It's not ending. Yeah, I mean, they've been filming but this different times. I didn't, it didn't feel like a, uh, anything wrong with the pacer or anything sure. for me. And they filmed this during various times through the pandemic and everything, yeah. too. Like, sure. I have no idea if any yeah. of that has any. So far, I anything at anything. all, you know? I don't know. Like, we know they filmed it a while back because it was also like that thing in the very beginning yeah. where they're like, we did this a long time ago? Sure. You know? Yeah. Anything that seems similar, we're sorry. Man, those cops are just. At least that one. That one the cop. The big bad wolf being so creepy? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know so what he was doing. About him. Hey, what the fuck was he doing? <laughs> Callahan. I don't, Callahan? I don't, I don't get Callahan. I like the. Hey, uh, kitty. I like the sheriff, dude. Piggies. I think he seems fine. Yeah, piggies. Yeah. Right? Piggies. yeah. Like, like, he's want to talk. Everyone's just arguing. He's a bored deputy in a town. I guess. Everyone's arguing. He's, he's like, telling him to shut up. I don't know. I know. I just like, I don't understand what Callahan's doing here. But no, I was like, maybe these parents will go and like they'll see a giant hole in Eddie's uncle's trailer, maybe, and be like, "This is some shit." And then you see Eddie and everyone falling through it, and you're like, "What is this? Like the monster in there killed everybody?" Yeah, yeah. You know, like, what do you say to that? Yeah. Like, how much do all of the parents know about like the upside down and stuff like that? Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Only like Hopper and jo- uh, <laughs> Joyce. Joyce. Yeah. And Murray. They know that, like, the FBI is coming to town and clean things up that's happening yeah. in Hawkins' labs, but they have no idea. But they were told of, like, fires and all these other yeah, stories. And, them all. Yeah. So they don't know any of that stuff. 
So they're going after what an Eddie to kill him. Good for him. And there's a cult hunting townsfolk. Yeah, where's <laughs> looking not for Eddie. Tom Cruise? Yeah. Like, that's going to come back in, in the next few episodes. Like, I am curious Jeez. as to what gets blamed on this at the end. How do they wrap it up? Yeah, like, how does Eddie not go to jail? <laughs> yeah, that was my thought. Uh, I think it was last episode. It's like, okay, say we find Vecna and say we kill Vecna. What does that solve for Eddie and the stuff in the real world? You yeah. know, no. like, and it's so frustrating every time. Like his friends are saying, "Oh, that murderer Eddie? No, we don't know where he is." It's like, well, could be. You're not helping him. We had a thing here of Eddie being like, you know, outside of D and I'm not the hero. I always want to run, but these people they inspire me. So you could set up a sacrifice play, and then he does get blamed. But we know that he died this way. Hey, and sure, something like that. Could you be. could do that. I, I mean, mean, at least I they would hate that. I know, I really like it. I want them to save him because of all the <coughs> stuff going on, and we've already lost, like, Barb and different things, you know, in the past. Fred. Like, they didn't have anything to do with anything, you know? Chrissy. Yeah. Have, who have we lost that's, like, been in on it? Billy? Um, I mean, kind of eventually he knew. Kind of, yeah. I think he found out more about it at some point and then did that. Uh, who else? Well, there's the Russian Dimitri or whatever his name was. The sure. Russian codebreaker dude or something. Yeah. I forget what his name was. I have it in my notes, but I don't want to show off. Mm-hmm. The, uh... But he was familiar with things. Yeah. Uh, I thought we lost Dr. Owens, right? In yeah. Epi- yeah. In season two with the dogs, I think it was. I think so. Back with Bob. Mm-hmm. When Bob died. Oh, uh, Bob. Yeah, like, Dr. Owens is not in a position where he can come and just clean this up anymore, right? Like, he's on the outs. I get it. I mean, he helped well, set this he, up for Brenner. Yeah, I know, but that's separate from the government. Yeah. Sure, I guess so. Because they just tortured that one dude, and he just gave him Which, up. that's the other thing, too. We have a, a group of townsfolk wanting to hunt cult members, mm-hmm. and then we have this military guy Lieutenant who got Colonel. information, I, I'm assuming, from Agent Wallace, who was being like, as long as you don't kill her. Sure. So, there's the cult people looking for Eddie and them. And then there's those guys going to be coming for Nina and all that area. But Eleven's had her breakthrough, it seems. Sure. So she's mm-hmm. probably powered up. Now. And yeah. Erica's out there popping tires and screwing everything up for everybody. I love that. Why? Well, well, I was just thinking, like, well, you know, just, like sometimes Erica is too much for me in, in that, like, she doesn't feel like a real character because she's so snarky. Mm-hmm. But I love that moment, her popping that tire. <laughs> I love how all the parents are just running from the front door 30 feet into the yard out of breath. <laughs> they are. Like, maybe they can help. It's like, what are they going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you think Mike and Nancy's dad is going to be, like, not out of breath doing that? I'm, it's just funny. Maybe he's really good with the spear. He I runs mean, like Waluigi. What I do? <laughs> that sounds like something he's... What I do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. We also have uh, Mike and... Jonathan and all them. Yeah. Who yeah. We now know the location of Nina, I think, because they found it out on that hacking. Feel bad headed. for Jonathan. Because, like, he's not. He would have dipped over to that lake, too, I think. Sure. He just didn't have the opportunity. Yeah. Because he wasn't there. Yeah, they're kind of yeah. like resetting up the romance between Nancy and Steve. I was going to ask Steve what you here, guys but think about I just keep that. thinking, like, well, like, John is not a bad guy, but he also, like, is kind of stepping away from her, too, right? Like, he didn't want to come back on the trip. Well, like he, they're kind of growing apart. Is what I'm so what he's worried about, I believe, right, yeah. was that he is getting a college uh, classes and stuff there locally in California. Yeah. Which Nancy wants to go elsewhere, but if sh- she hears that Jonathan's going there, then she won't go to the place that she wants mm-hmm. to go, and he feels he's going to hold her back. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, there could be some stuff there where he's like, "Go ahead and do what you need to do." And then Steve would be like, yeah, go ahead. And maybe they end, they do end up getting together again. I don't know. Every time they bring it up, though, in the show, I'm like, you know, being like, you know, that Nancy, she loves you. That was, a, you know, one of the only times I saw true love and stuff. I keep thinking, like, where are they going to go with this? Is this something that I should be caring about? I don't know. Well, yeah, it should be, right? I, I think they're having their like cake and I don't like, it too. I don't know. Maybe. You don't like caring about ships? It's just a teenage drama. I don't care about it's Steve and Nancy to together, I guess. You don't want yes. them together? I just... Enjoyed. I thought he was just so much better of a character when he got out of that relationship. And I felt like her and Jonathan were pretty solid. Well, see, but he got out of that, and then he's changed and grown. Mm-hmm. And he's different than what he was back then as that, sure. as that douche. Yeah. That Eddie said he thought he was, but he was, but now he's not. I get now you know. Jonathan's grown into a stoner. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. <laughs> I'm just, every time yes. it happens, I'm But he also cared about like, his mom. Curious as to, like, I'm... I'm 
I'm thinking about all these things, and then they're like, I'll just think about this. I'm like, eh, I'm think about these things. <laughs> I don't know. I might appreciate just seeing Nancy being her own character and not having to be either Jonathan or... Sure, I understand. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like she way. is her own character. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like she's not. I feel like she's fairly well-defined. She has, like, her advantages, her, like, her strengths, and she's a lot good. of what she does is on her own like she's not afraid yeah. to go out on her own she's a and it's not like what she does is strictly because of mm-hmm. Steve or Jonathan you know like sure she jumped in that lake because Steve got taken but I think if it had been Robin or Eddie she also would have done that too is what I think mm-hmm. yeah Eddie may see what he thinks yeah. he sees and stuff but like she was willing to go talk to Vecna that wasn't because of Steve that was to help save Max you know like like she, yeah, all, like all of our characters have done that for each other. Yeah, at some point. And I really like I, I like that they are very close knit oriented, and yeah, they'll help each other. Because first season, Nancy didn't want anything to do with Mike, but yeah. now she'll break into a place to help save Max, who was friends with Mike. Yeah, you know all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not saying any of that is bad. I'm just saying like there's so many things to ponder that when it comes up, I'm always like, should I think about this? No, I'm not gonna think about it. Like I'm generally curious. Like Will has his painting. He's been having these yeah, no. looks and feelings towards uh, Mike, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And there, back in season one, there was like those lines about, well, kids are making fun of him because the way he dresses, and they're calling him, a, and they said the F word, you know? And Hopper goes like, what's wrong with his clothes? <laughs> you know, remember that line? Is that important? Yeah. Could like, be. So, I mean, there's been like subtle hints that it could be that he's gay and that he feels a certain way about his friends in a different way, you know? But we didn't really... Like, bring that back up at least in this part we have to wait for what the two episodes and the season after or whatever but there's little things like that where I'm like interesting but what's happening here is there another season after this I think yeah okay See, I thought I, you said it was the final season well I did so I and that's because what that's what the Duffer Brothers said like in season one or two like we have a four episode four season plan yeah but apparently it's a five season plan now or something I don't know everybody was saying I was wrong they got offered more money is I mean, probably what happened. Better <laughs> that than what D and D did to Game of Thrones. Yeah, when they just abandoned it. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, they just they have what, what the way I think about it is that they have the the pool at Netflix, the power at Netflix. We're like, we can do whatever we want. Let's make this story bigger, and it feels like that's what they're doing. I really like so far. Like a lot of things feel so connected while also having homage to so many '80s things. Sure. I mean, we're straight in somehow a lot of a lot of it works for me. Like this season, I think works for me more than maybe the last season and the season before. Um, yeah, but I, I like this one about as much as season one. I think right now, but I think it's because it has a little bit more of a horror aspect with the yeah. uh, Vecna monster. But it it's pulling from things like I feel like uh, J- uh, Friday the Thir- uh, Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, it's pulling from that so much, but it's not like it's not its own thing at the same time. Yeah, it's got, you know? it's got freaks and geeks. Like, there's a lot of that kind of stuff right yeah. here. The only thing I feel like doesn't fit is the Cheech and Chong stuff. Like, that feels very separate to me, and mm-hmm. I don't really get it. Well, the whole LA yeah, that's... stuff, or California stuff, felt different. Yeah. Right? Sure. Yeah, but I, I felt, think it's... It disconnected. And I agree, I, but I didn't hate it. I mean, one, I feel like it's such a small part of what this yeah. season has been so far. Sure. And then two, I think you're trying to understand Jonathan and who he is, especially if they're looking at putting Nancy and Steve together. Like, they're, yeah. they're, they're bringing up, like, that's why I said he talked about, like, college. He talked about his mom and his brother and how he can't just leave them and go with Nancy to work, you know, where or go to school where she wants to go. But he doesn't want to tell her that because he doesn't want to lose her necessarily at the same time. So I, I think what we're doing there is just having Argyle and Jonathan kind of talk out Jonathan's thoughts so that later on when we get to a part where it's like, is it going to be a Steve or Jonathan thing? Sure. Maybe Jonathan even chooses, like, look, here's what I need to tell you. And I know what you want to do, and maybe they break up or something that that way. But oh. I, f- I feel like the Cheech and Chong-y aspect has been like... I mean, it's certainly just an a 80s little feel. It is an 80s feel. No, I hope it all works out. Yeah. Like, now, to me, it feels like they wrote all this awesome stuff over here, and then they finished it, and they're like, shit, what about all these characters? I, I, I get that feeling, too. I feel like they kind of ended last season, and like, and then they go off here, and Hopper's off here, and who knows what's going to happen. And when they sat down to do this one, they're like, all right the fuck do we do with the L.A. stuff? It's like, well, we'll have some stuff, and then the, the L, and then we'll go off, and we'll bring it all back together. It's kind of like, sure. it didn't really feel like it had much of a purpose as other than, like, L needs to get back to where we are because we need our soldier to fight over here. Sure. And, I think and then Hopper has, I, at first I thought it was like, I don't love the Hopper stuff this season, but the last two or three episodes with Hopper... I mean, he's been that outside cage has had sure. some hell of a, uh, some great monologues. Yeah. So I've enjoyed a lot more. He's just been a prisoner, yeah. so there's like 
There's not too much to do until there's stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. And I also, I don't give a shit what you have Murray do. <laughs> Whatever he does, I love. <laughs> with, Almost in a different show. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, with Mike and Jonathan, I feel like they're, I feel like the route we're going for the next yeah. couple episodes or whatever it's going to be is like, those ones are looking for Eleven <clears throat> because she got taken. I imagine the military group will find Nina and all that. Yeah. And I, I would say like Eleven is trying to escape, and they show up and are able Maybe. to get her out in time, and then they all head to Hawkins to try to stop mm-hmm. all this stuff from happening. But yeah, I think that's the only other besides all the other backstory of like kind of putting them in place of how everyone feels, and that's why we have like the L.A. trip and the skate and all that kind of stuff. It also puts you in a mind of like, did she really want to kill that girl? And then you've seen all the other stuff in the past, and like, well, she killed all those people. Does she have violent tendencies? Is she really dangerous? And I think it's kind of supposed to be kind of teeter totter sure. that idea a little bit yeah. and make you doubt Eleven a little bit. So now that we know that Eleven didn't kill everyone at the Hawkins Laboratory, it's just a natural response, and that girl should have gotten hit in the face again more. Probably. Probably. That's not exactly what I was. I'm saying. pretty sure it's exactly what you said. That's what I was saying. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Stranger Things. And now there is a break. Uh, So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more Stranger Things as we have a couple more left in this season that comes here towards the end of the month. And we are excited to see how they wrap up this season. Mm -hmm. Full length. Available. Subscribe.